Wow, check out this acrylic yellow vintage ice bucket that I found today at an estate sale. At first, I wasn't sure that I wanted to paint it with the snowman being yellow and everything, but it really turned out good. First of all, I just base coated everything white. And then I laid in my base coat, putting in a darker red scarf around the, this one snowman's neck. Just adding some shading to it. It was really easy to keep that paint on there. I did not use any type of surface medium when I started. I just picked up my paint and, and started painting. I just used acrylic paints while I was doing this. Added some highlights and some shadows. Got all those little details in there. And all those details just make it come to life. So I hand lettered the word chillin' on there and here in a moment I'll be putting the word buds, so it's chillin' buds. So it'd be a great, um, you could still put ice in it. I'm going to fill it with styrofoam balls and some battery operated lights. And you'll see in the picture how those lights are just going to pop right through that yellow acrylic. And all the times that I've been painting things that are different, this is the first time I've ever seen a yellow ice bucket before. Just adding some final touches, lots of snow because we're going to fill it with glitter so that when we have the lights in there, it's just going to shimmer really well. Down at the bottom underneath the snowman as well, I've added in more snow down there and it will be glittered as well. The top where the handle is, I will add a few snowflakes to the top so that it's complete. And then he's laying on a blue plastic background. So I removed the background thinking you would see it better because it kind of looks green on a blue background being yellow. So I removed the blue background and you can tell now it really looks yellow. It is a really unique beautiful piece. Now I'm just adding in more glitter. A little bit more snow to areas on the snowman. Shake that glitter all over. 